at GPT. It's a really cool AI bot that can create really awesome content for you. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a couple examples. Um, and the last example I showed in a previous video was more code based. This is going to be more for the average person, right? So let's say I want to send an email to my boss um, that I, you know, will be out next uh, Friday due to a family event, right? So I can go ahead and say that and it's going to say, okay, to my boss, subject out next Friday. Hi boss, I wanted to let you know that I'll be out next Friday, December 10th for a family event. I will make sure to take care of any pressing tasks before I can leave, blah, blah, blah. Sincerely, my name, right? All right, so that was pretty cool. It created an email. I can say, you know what? Uh, hey, um, can you uh, tweak that email uh, to only be one sentence? right? Boom. It reworked that. So, hey boss, I will be out next Friday for a family event. Thanks for your understanding, right? So, I, I was able to know the context of the previous conversation and tweak that email, right? All right. So, let's say I want to do something, you know, for my house. I'm working on my house. I want to hang up a couple paintings. Hey, I want to hang, uh, you know, three paintings on my 10-foot uh, wall. Uh, I want... Uh, those paintings to be centered on the wall and evenly spaced apart. Um, how far from the left side of the wall should I space these? So to center the paintings, on a 10 foot wall and evenly space them apart, you need to divide the wall into four equal parts and hang each painting at the center of each section. Since the wall is 10 feet long, each section would be 10 divided by four, which is two point feet wide. Therefore, you would need to hang the first painting, so on and so forth, right? It's basically telling me where I should hang those paintings, right? Um, and let's say, actually, uh, there are five paintings. In that case, you need to divide the wall into six equal parts and hang each painting at the center of each section, and then it does that math for me as well. As well, so that's super cool, um, you know, use case for hey, I don't want to think, right? I, I want just to you know work with this chat bot and have it do things for me. So let's do something else. Let's say I'm a student, right, and I need to write a paper. Uh, write me a one-page paper uh, on you know Elon Musk, right? All right, so Elon Musk is a South African-born entrepreneur and businessman. Uh, man, uh, I actually don't know that word. Matt man, Magnet, um, who played an important role. Blah blah blah. Um, so, you know, that wrote a one-page paper. And let's actually, you know what? I, I said saw this word. Let's see, what is this word? Let's say, what is this word? Is a powerful, influential business person, right? So I actually didn't know that word, and it output that, and I said, "Okay, let me let me take a look, and and it'll actually tell me what that word was." Um, so now let's say, actually, can you make that a two-page paper? And there it's going, making a two-page paper. So it's taking. Um, the context of the conversation. I didn't tell it to write a two-page paper on Elon Musk. I said, write a two-page paper. And there it has a two-page paper output for me. So this is wild technology um, that can really, really benefit the human race um, to be able to go much faster, much quicker, and think less. Um, but thinking less is not necessarily a bad thing. Some people might think this is going to take my job. This is going to make it so that you know I I I don't I'm not needed anymore. I'm unnecessary. But no, really, what it's going to do is going to make it so that we can be higher level thinkers right? And we can interact with computers way faster. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like uh, this content and want to see more, subscribe to my channel, Robot.js, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.